Uh, hi guys. How are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian and today is Saturday, which means it's Saturday. I was about to do my Monday intro and then I realized I'm filming Saturday's video. It happens. So, okay, look, here's what's going on. I'm gonna do my makeup and you're gonna watch it. But I got a chemical peel the other day uh, because I'm I've been breaking out really bad. I did a whole acne video. When was that? December maybe, I could be lying. But I'll link it down below. It's an acne video, how I cleared my acne, blah, 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 because my skin was looking bomb. I got chemical peels, microneedling, all that stuff, and I talked about it in this video, and I'll link it down below if you have any questions about what I did, right? Or what I'm doing now, because I'm doing the same thing again, because it came back. <laughs> and so I got a chemical peel the other day, poorly planned chemical peel, by the way, because I didn't even film my videos yet. So my skin is peeling. Like you really shouldn't wear makeup because it's just gonna look like crap because your skin's so dry and flaky. And I'm just gonna put makeup on anyways, but it's probably gonna look really bad. Um, so yeah, just, that, just a little heads up. It's very exciting to be an adult with acne. It's really fun, I'm blessed, love that. Oh yeah, that looks bad already. Okay, anyway, so this is just gonna be a good old fashioned get ready with me because I got a lot to talk about. Just random nonsense, you know, it's nothing major. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I use it as foundation. Yes, adult acne is so lame. I never really had acne growing up. Like I would have breakouts, but it wasn't anything major. And then when you get it as an adult, it's like, hey, wait a minute. No, but whatever. Life could always be worse. Yes, so what's been going on? What's happening? What's new? I need coffee. That's what I'm missing. I'm missing that coffee energy. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Oh, that looks off. What the f was that? What? I can't breathe, that scared me. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my Jouer um, High Coverage Liquid Concealer. Man, I cannot remember how to Deal with dry, flaky skin. Come on, Bailey, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. I got the Boing concealer from Benefit. Have you guys seen that one? I've used it more than a handful of times. I've been wearing it for a while because I, I love concealer. I'm sure you guys have caught on. <laughs> I've been wearing it and it's just, it's so dry. Okay, Bailey, I'm moving. It's so dry. I've mentioned this all the time. My ass is just way too dry. My literal ass, I need lotion. I like it, but it's too dry. <laughs> and that's my review, thank you so much. What am I doing today? Okay, when you live in an apartment complex, especially out here where it's loud as shit everywhere, it's just like you're filming or whatever, you're constantly on other people's time. Like you're waiting. I was waiting for the guy to stop mowing the lawns out there. Just such a lame complaint. Like across the street, something was going on and there were a bunch of cop cars and there was a helicopter like going around the building for a long time. So I was like waiting for that. Can people like stop dying? It's really rude. I'm trying to film. No, I'm kidding. I don't think anyone died. Try to look on that Citizen app. Do you guys have that app? I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. If you don't know, Citizen is this app on your phone that tells you about all of the crimes that happened in your, your neighborhood, like in real time. At first I was like, oh, this is cool. But then you just, I just know too much. I mean, every day there's like a million new things. It's just insane. Anyways, what I'm getting at is, I don't know what happened across the street. So then I was waiting because obviously the sound and whatnot. And then I was waiting and, oh, it doesn't matter, Bailey, shut up. I'm sorry, lame complaints. I'm just being annoying. Oh, okay, foundation powder. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. I have the shade Light Beige. I'm gonna try this. Maybe it will help with the flakiness. <laughs> My upper lip is sweating. I have a fan over here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. It gets so hot in this damn room. Why am I being so negative, Bailey? Snap out of it. Okay, anyways, so I hope you guys are being safe out there because I know that in Florida, there's like a hurricane coming your way, right? Yeah, please be safe. Do people stay? I mean, they kind of, I'm sure you, like you kind of have to, right? I don't know. See, we don't get hurricanes out here in California. We get earthquakes. I feel like every state has their thing. Earthquakes, tornadoes. 
hurricanes, blizzards. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. Blizzards. Oh, we, right now, like, a, uh, I was just watching the news again. There's another fire out in Malibu. California is always on fire, the world's ending. It's very exciting. You know what's crazy? I was reading yesterday, I think it was. It's like the 14th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. It's just crazy for one to think it's been 14 years. You know, with Hurricane Katrina, oh my God, that was the saddest thing. I couldn't even imagine being in those people's shoes. And then on top of that, politicians and shit like were not really helping them, which I had no idea that happened because when it happened, I was still a kid. You assume that when something major like that happens that it's gonna be taken care of, right? The United States of America, they've got it figured out. And then you learn, no, no. What I'm getting at is that I had no idea that things were handled so poorly when Hurricane Katrina happened. It was just a mess and they knew it was gonna happen. Nobody did anything. It's just, God. Same with like what happened in um, Puerto Rico and Damn, never mind. I don't want to get all political, you know? We don't. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> this is the Sparkle palette from Mud. Um, and they have these three things Define, Spark, and Chisel. Love you. Rosie Shade. He's going to work. But I'm just using this Define color. It's a matte bronzer. It's nice. I've been using the same shit. Sorry, the same stuff in every single tutorial. Um, it's because I use what I like. And when I like something, I just like stick with it and keep using it. And um, <laughs> people are always asking me to do favorites video, but I'm like, all you gotta do is watch my videos because I use the same stuff over and over and over again. And that's how you know it's a favorite. But I guess I, I am asking too much, like watch all of my videos. It's like a full-time job watching videos because every single, person on YouTube and stuff is like, hey, I uploaded a video, go watch it right now. And you're like, uh, I can't, I'm at work. Stop yelling at me. Hey, you have no life. Watch my videos right now. Swipe up. I mean, I do it too, but like, you know, my toenails are so long, it's disgusting, but I refuse to get a pedicure and manicure because I hate it. <laughs> I'm being negative again. But does, it, does anyone else feel like this? Because I definitely feel, alone a little bit on this, but I don't enjoy getting a pedicure and manic manicure the whole time. I'm thinking like, hurry up, hurry up. I got shit to do. Like this is taking too long, come on, you know? And it's just like, how do people do that every two weeks? I don't wanna do this every two weeks. It should be a tax write off or something. Mm-mm. Ah, ah. I, hold on, what am I getting? I'll do my eyes, yeah, hello. Okay, so I used to work at this one job and I totally think this is, this is illegal. You tell me, because I don't know, I didn't do any research in it, but it was mandatory to have your nails and your toes done if you're wearing open-toed shoes because they want us to look presentable at least. And it was so annoying because first of all, I'm not getting paid that much, no. And if you didn't, they would tell you to go into the back and do it because you need to have it done. And shit like that pissed me off. I'm poor and you're not paying me enough to go get my nails done. Oh, oh, okay, look, 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 look. This is from Stila. It's their suede shade liquid shadow. You know how Stila had those like glitter shadow things? It's like the same concept, but it's just um, shadow. Very excited to try this. It's my first time trying it. This is the shade something blue. Now this blue is normally terrifying over here. Yeah, this, you know what, fuck you camera. This shade is <laughs> normally terrifying because it's that periwinkle blue. This blue can easily make you look like somebody's aunt. You know, that aunt she does the most or it can make you look bomb. Like there, it's just one or the other. There's no in between. And I'm not hating on those ants because, oh, I'm an aunt and I am that aunt. Oh my God, when you realize you are the ant. <sighs> I love that for me. Yes, so I wanna use this because I like a challenge. I am going to put this onto my eyes. Let me get a blending brush ready because I hear um, you have to blend these pretty quick because once they dry, that's it. Come on, Bailey, you have three bajillion brushes. Just find one. I'm going to put this on, blend it. What's been going on? Mm, mm, mm. So my new hobby, 
I've always kind of been interested in ancestry. What's it called? Is it genealogy? Like where my ancestors come came from, all that jazz. Like it's just very interesting to me. I like to know. I think it's humbling in a way because like, you know how you get so caught up in your day to day and you'll be stressing over really stupid stuff like, I don't know, traffic, that it's too loud in my neighborhood, really dumb things. And then when you learn about your ancestors and stuff and what they had to go through in their day to day, at least for me, it reminds me like, you're so blessed, you have no idea. Yeah, we have struggles, we're not perfect. It's come up some ways eh? to get here to America. And then once they got here, they didn't speak a lick of English, a lick of English, a lick of English. And they somehow just figured it out, got a job, tried their best and made it. It's just like, wow. And I just find that so interesting. Especially because nobody really in my family talked much about where my great grandparents came from and stuff. Like it's just kind of, nobody really talks about it. I'm like, where, where did they come from? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> like, don't you want to know? So what I'm getting at is, oh my God, I went down a rabbit hole and it was crazy. So I was trying to do some research for a Murder Mystery Makeup Monday, blah, 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 video. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it on my own family. <laughs> My mom was talking about her uncle, so my grandpa's brother, how he was in San, San Quentin prison, which is like a very high security, like bad people go there. So my mom was telling me how she would go there with my grandpa as a kid to go visit. And I was like, well, what would he go to prison for? Nobody knows. I, I was trying to find out why and then go from there, you know? It just led me down this other path on ancestry.com It'll give you like little hints like, hey, is this your family? It just starts throwing people at you. Are you related to this person? And you're like, I have no idea who that is. It could be, I don't know. Yeah, so I was on Ancestry and like, cause you get a seven day free trial. So I had seven days to figure this shit out. And then I just like was learning so much about my mom's side of the family and my dad's. And it's nuts, you guys. It's crazy. This is ColourPop eyeshadow in Moonlight Matte. I was thinking maybe I could put this over it. I look like um, Cinderella. I don't really care if you don't care about my ancestry. I'm gonna tell anyways, because it was mind blowing. So now my mom's side of the family, my great grandpa, his name is Cecilio. Cecilio, him and his wife. Oh, I'm forgetting her name, my great grandmother. But they came here from Mexico. Now he died at, he died at like 40 um, and he had, oh my gosh, I'm already forgetting, like six, seven children, which one of them was my grandpa. And then he passed away sadly. But when they moved out here, they moved in this area that I'm living at now. And I had no idea. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Like I'm, I'm essentially driving the same like streets maybe that they were on, or like I'm in the same area that, that they were all in. On Ancestry, I think it was, it told me there's a grave site for Cecilio, my great grandpa. And so I look up the address and you guys, I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? It's this mortuary that's not far from me, couple blocks down, but I drive past it all the time. And I've always been like, I wanna go there, but it's kind of weird that I would just go there and hang out. But I always drove by it and I was always wanting to just go. And then I found out, yeah, that's where he's buried, right down the street, that I that mortuary that I pass all the time. What? It's just nuts because before I moved out to Los Angeles, I had an interview at Ipsy out here in Santa Monica. You know, I didn't live in Los Angeles at that time. So the commute to get to this interview was gonna take me like four hours in the morning. And I was like, I should just get a hotel and I should just stay out there. That way for the interview in the morning, I'm like not stressed out because I just drove four hours. I'm refreshed, I'm ready to conquer. So I got a hotel out there and the hotel was directly across the street from that mortuary. And I didn't even realize that. What are the odds? Huh. I just thought that was crazy to me. I mean, did something draw me to this area? So Fernando and I went down to the mortuary to go visit Cecilio, my great grandpa, and go see his um, his burial site. Is that what it's called? And say hello. And it was just, oh, it was mind blowing to me that I was so close. I'm curious to know more about my mom's side of the family, but 
then I started to go down a rabbit hole on my dad's side of the family. Um, I know that we are Armenian. This is Looking Fresh by ColourPop. Let's put this like in the corner of my eye or something. Okay, so my dad's side of the family, they came from Armenia. Um, and they didn't speak like any English when they came out here. Ancestry is pretty cool because they'll show you different records, the census that they filled out. Um, I got to see like his, I think it was World War II draft thing and like seeing pictures. <gasps> Some fucking car accident. What the fuck? I hate this city. I'm sorry for laughing. Anyways, so this lady's flooring it down the street and this guy trying to pull out, she hit him, but everything's fine. Like if it was bad, I wouldn't be laughing, but she's pissed. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I live, I mentioned this in another video. I should just sit here and talk because that's all I like to do. One time I almost got hit by a car out here. I was at the gas station and I was like walking towards the door of the gas station so I can go inside and pay. And this guy in a big ass Range Rover when I was crossing, he was coming, he was, he wasn't going that fast, but you know, he was going fast enough to like drive through so he could exit. I'm the worst under pressure or in a panic. Most people would think to get out of the way. Instead, I froze. I was just like, oh no, this car's coming at me. Let me just stand here. And he slams his brakes. It was so dramatic. And I was like, oh, this is, this is really how I'm going out, huh? At the gas station? I can't be cooler than that. Anyways, he's slamming. And I was like, oh shit. He stops, it's fine. I actually wasn't that scared because it was a Range Rover. If I lived, you know, things would have been okay. People just drive like animals out here. Is Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil number 208. What was I even saying about my ancestors? Oh, my dad's side of the family. So my dad's side of the family. I think they changed their, my last name is Sarian, if you don't know that. At some point they changed the our last name to Sarian. I don't know why they did that because all of the records and stuff from Ancestry is from the United States. So I don't even know how to figure out how to get records from a different country. I don't even know if that's possible. I think you have to go to that country, right? Maybe I should. And he came out here again, same neighborhood. Actually, he lives like 20 minutes that way. Isn't that nuts? Wow, Bailey, you learned a lot, awesome. It was just mind blowing to me that I'm in the same neighborhood that both of my great grandparents came to when they came here to America. Is that not crazy or is that just me? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Were my ancestors leading me out here? I could talk about this all damn day. What I will say though is if your grandparents are alive, if your great grandparents are alive, you need to talk to them about their story, their life story. It's so interesting. They always, they, they, yeah, they've seen some crazy shit. <gasps> my eyes are effing burning. And I don't know if it's that shadow or if it's like allergies or what, but my face does hurt. So it could be my allergies. Essence Lash Princess, cause I am a princess. These are cute. I bought these a while back. They just been like chilling. Ardell, these are the 113 black lashes. I love Ardell lashes. They're just like good. If you need inexpensive lashes, Ardell. I can't wait to like not live in an apartment. Oh, we all have our different definitions of success. You know, maybe having million dollars in your bank account, having the nice cars. It may be having a family. It may, like we all have our own definition, right? I would say my definition of success is owning a home. Um, I don't know where that stems from though. Maybe my grandma because like nobody ever pressured or to buy a home. I mean, for as long as I can remember, like buying a home to me was my personal definition of success. So I've been looking um, into buying a home because I think I could do it. I don't know. The only reason I want to buy a home is for, well, there's a lot of reasons. One, if I bought a home, it's mine. Most of all, I could adopt more dogs. Like Saint, our pit bull, he deserves a backyard to play in, right? And he, I need to save more pit bulls, which I wanna do, but I need a yard. I can't do it in an apartment. And oh my gosh, when you're renting with a pit bull, it's impossible. 
it's a nightmare. So yeah, I just like, if I had a house, I could adopt more. <laughs> just save them all. Apartments are the worst for big dogs. Adopt, okay? There's so many poor, poor doggies that just want love and they deserve all the love. I've been seeing a lot of makeup looks and tutorials and stuff based or inspired by Euphora. Is that what it's called or Euphoria? I don't know, I think it's Euphora. Oh man, the looks are so beautiful. I've never seen the show, but based off of all of these makeup looks that are coming from him, I'm like, I need to see this show. But then I found out it's on HBO and my cheap ass is not getting HBO. <laughs> no, wish I could watch it, but. <laughs> do they have a free trial? I'll do the free trial. Binge the show and then cancel. The worst is when you forget to cancel your free trial and you're like, damn it. Is anybody else this cheap or is it just me? I am a frugal bitch. Look, I can spend money on makeup for some sick reason, but everything else in my life, I'm like, mmm, $1.99? Mmm, do I really need it that bad? Okay, so this is Champagne Pop. Are they still fighting? It's been a while now. I was thinking a dark ass lip would be bomb. I gotta stop cussing because my sugar daddy, AKA YouTube, doesn't like it. This is MAC Lip Liner in Night Moth. I know you're thinking, Bailey, what are you doing? You look absolutely insane. Have some faith in me. This is gonna look bomb. Okay, so this is MAC Lipstick in Dark Side. The Stila Lip Gloss in Bonus Baby. Okay. <laughs> This is the finished look. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you wanna wear it? Let me know down below. What is this? What What is this? What is this look? It's very um, like innocent, right? But then she's a vixen. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you have a wonderful day today. You make good choices. Please be safe out there and I will be seeing you guys later. Bye. It's like Cinderella if she like, like, was like making out with like an evil prince.